Okay, let's see some Zerto demo. Okay, so here we have the Zerto virtual manager interface where you can see the real-time replication, you can manage all of the orchestration and automation. So importantly, this replaces multiple different tools. But the really cool thing about this, if I go across to my site tab, so here I have Zerto plugged into my VMware data center, but I also have it paired to target replication sites of Azure and AWS. So what you can see here is Zerto is not only storage agnostic, it's hypervisor agnostic, because we're going to do on-the-fly conversion of the VMs from your VMware data center directly into Azure or AWS. And you can see on a per protection group basis, you can create consistency groupings of VMs and select them to replicate to the different target sites. You could go VMware to VMware between different vSphere versions, VMware to Hyper-V, Hyper-V to VMware, or with either of those into Azure or AWS. And the world's first is this is a protection group that I have replicating with a sub 20 second recovery point objective, no snapshots, no performance impact, and it's replicating from VMware directly into Azure where it's stored as cheap blob storage. And this makes Azure and Zerto an extremely cost-effective way of doing DR because you're only paying for what you need in the public cloud and then we will create all the recovery VMs on the fly when you click to failover or test. And with Zerto's automation, it's a simple process. Whether it's failover or test, it's four steps. You simply select which protection groups you want to fail over, step one. Step two, you verify the settings for recovery in the point in time and you can go back to increments in seconds. Step three, you have the final confirmation, and then step four, we click start failover. That's it. And this is actually a test. So Zerto does allow you to do no impact failover testing. So if you want to try before you actually fail over without shutting down the VMs in production, you want to see how your VMware VMs now behave when they're recovered as VMs in the Microsoft Azure cloud. You want to try the cloud before you actually switch. This failover test is going to give you that capability because I still got my sub 20 second RPO, all my VMs are still powered on in production. And in Azure, you can simply log in. We create a new resource group for the recovered VMs. And then within that resource group, you will just see all the VMs now automatically created in Azure in minutes. And this is how we deliver a sub five minute RTO because we can mount the page blob disks directly to the recovered VMs, power them on, so you have an RPO of less than 20 seconds, an RTO of less than five minutes, on-premise and to Azure with the same solution, Zerto 5.0. But we are replicating from VMware or from Microsoft? So you can do from either. So you can go from vSphere or Hyper-V directly into Azure and on-the-fly conversion between the hypervisors. It's amazing. It is amazing. And for us, the cool thing is that we've been working with Microsoft for the last year on this. We have teams from Microsoft that have helped us develop this. And the first version here is failover to Azure. But what we're releasing next year is fail back from Azure. So real time, you can click failover, it'd be recovered in five minutes, and then you'll have a single checkbox to automatically reverse the replication out of Azure. Same solution, so you can use this on-premise between your own data centers, replicate into Azure, and then in the future, you could move to Azure, keep a local copy, and replicate between your Azure regions. Excellent. Thanks very much, Josh, for the demo. Thank you.